Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. In today's video, it's sort of an update regarding the bag that I said I was not going to buy. And let me just tell you, I did not buy it. Yay! Now, I might have possibly bought something else, but that will remain to be seen how that all unfolds. However, during the video I made a couple days ago, I noticed that I have too many black with silver hardware or gunmetal hardware bags since I have five of them, which is a bit excessive in the small size. And so I decided to part with one of the five. And if you wanna find out what that one is, stay tuned. Also, I have a small item for sale that I will go ahead and share with you first. I guess that would be like two. First, I will show the small item I have for sale and then we'll get into the black bags and I'll let you know which one I decided to sell. So no, I'm not selling my Monogram Speedy 20, but I am selling the strap that I bought to go with it. I love this thinner strap with this bag, but for me, the buckle part of it, it is not as comfortable as a non-adjustable strap is. And I know this because I have the Croiset strap for my Damier Aben Speedy 20, and I love the strap on this bag. And today I was scrolling through the Facebook groups where individuals sell various Louis Vuitton items, and I found a Croiset strap for a really good price in the Vaquetta. So I went ahead and just bought that, and I figured I would sell this adjustable strap that I've been using with my Monogram Speedy 20, and use that money to kind of recoup what I paid. So this strap is adjustable. I'm 5'8". I have it at the longest setting and it works just fine for me. And you could certainly shorten it if you wanted the bag to be a little shorter. When I got the strap, it was in brand new condition and I tanned it in the windowsill so as to kind of protect it from water spots and things like that. And it didn't tan evenly. This has been something I've worked with with different Vaquetta pieces. Like for example, my Speedy 20 bag like I mentioned recently the chaps tanned faster than the handles and a lot of people have had that happen and for me on this one the little keepers tanned faster than the straps so you can see that the strap is a pretty even patina and I'm happy to send pictures of it to you there are little creases and variations in the leather which is normal but I'm happy to send extra pictures to you if you are interested in purchasing this strap. Usually straps like this retail for $395 on the Louis Vuitton website. And I'm asking $199 for this one if you're interested. It has very little wear and tear. You can see the clips are still bright and shiny gold. And the price of $199 is shipped within the United States. It's just too hard to ship abroad. So if you're interested in picking up a skinnier strap for your Speedy 20 or any other Vaquetta bag you have where you might want an adjustable Vaquetta strap, just please reach out to me through my email or Instagram DM. I always link that down in the description box. So now the question is, which of the five black bags that I showed you two days ago did I decide to sell? Well, I'm gonna start one at a time and I'm gonna show you the ones I didn't sell and end up with the one I did. So the first one I didn't sell is my Longchamp Quilted Duodene bag in the super soft, luxurious lambskin leather. I love this little cutie, so she is here to stay. And she's one of the four Longchamp Extra Smalls that I have curated my collection down to. The four Longchamp Extra Smalls that I have remaining in my collection include like a creamy croc embossed one, a red Matisse one, and then one that sort of is Chanel-esque with a black and beige combo, and it is super cute too. The next bag that did not hit the chopping block is the Saint Laurent Lou camera bag or Lou shoulder bag, depending on who you talk to with the tassel. This bag is sticking around. It is so soft and luxurious and wonderful for taking to so many different things. I think you can dress it up or dress it down and it's a different shape. I only have two of these, so I like having this as part of my collection. The third bag I decided not to sell is my Mulberry Little Softy with the antique silver hardware and the gorgeous chain. 
This little bag's newer to my collection, and I can't believe when I was trying to think of other bags I had as reasons why not to buy that Keep All Extra Small, I forgot about this one until I was preparing to do the video. But this bag is such a little cutie, and she is sticking around. The last bag that I'm not selling would be my Saint Laurent wristlet in the Grain de Poudre leather. I've heard that Saint Laurent's moving away from this type of leather, and that makes me sad because it is so very durable. I did buy a conversion kit for this bag, like I mentioned, so that I can use it as a crossbody. And it's a great option to throw in a bigger bag that you can just grab and go when you need to pull something out to run into the store or wherever you might be going. So drum roll, please. If you follow me on my YouTube community page or my Instagram, or you saw my post on Marquita LV Luxury, you would know that the bag I did decide to sell and I sold would be my Louis Vuitton epi pochette accessoire and it is in the noir color i have tucked inside all of the bits and bobs that are going to be going to the lovely lady who purchased it including the strap the entropy certificate the ebay certificate of authenticity as well as the original receipt i'm not the original purchaser but i do have the original receipt and also the gorgeous felici chain which she purchased along with it so that is the small black bag of the five bags that I showed you a couple days ago that hit the chopping block and is going to a new home. And I'm sure that she is going to absolutely love this bag. It's so versatile, so durable, and that chain just makes it chef's kiss beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was short and sweet. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.